This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. And right now I am on level 14. Else where were spelled weird. All right, let's see what we got. Your cleave is on a 10 second cooldown. Use an else statement to defend yourself while recharging. All right, remember an else statement has to follow an if statement. So what do we have here? We have a loop, while true, anything in between this, and if I click here, it actually shows me way down here on line 13, it will highlight kind of the other bracket. So anything in between this is repeating. And remember, this slash slash means a comment. So that's for us, the computer doesn't read anything with two slashes in front of it. So in here we got variable enemy equals hero find nearest enemy. So right here we declared this value an enemy and we said hero find whoever's close to you so if someone's close to our hero their new name is enemy if no one is enemy equals nothing or undefined now if hero is ready cleave write an else to do something if cleave isn't ready so since we already have this if statement we can write an else else statements are what automatically happens if uh if if is not true. So I'm going to end it down here with a bracket. So if hero is ready, cleave. Well, if cleave is not ready, what the code will automatically do, what our computer is automatically going to do, go, oh, else. So if this is happening, it will run this code. Else, it runs this, right? So if I own a car, I can drive to the bank. Else, I'm going to walk, right? So if cleave is ready, our hero will use cleave else, be sure to attack the enemy. So I'm just going to add attack here. I'm going to click on this. And I think that should do it. Let's go ahead and run it. This is looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Success. Excellent. 